there, hope you're doing well. I wanted to jump on here and do another quick makeup tutorial with this makeup that I love called Saint. Um, if you watched my video last week, I did a look that I put together for a spread in Sacramento Magazine. It was a little more um, heavy makeup, but um, I knew that there was gonna be a lot of lights drowning me out, and so I wanted to show you that look. But today I wanna show you just an everyday look that I use to get ready in honestly less than 10 minutes. And again, everything is in this one amazing palette. It's called Saint Makeup, and everything that I'm gonna be using is gonna be basically right here. All of my um, different color, two different color foundations that are cream foundations. I have a bronzer, I have a contour, and I'm gonna try this beautiful um, kind of fallish blush today called Sandstone. This is a setting powder that's in here as well. Um, again, um, look at all these pretty blush colors that come in and some little lip stuff, some illuminators. So again, this company I have fallen in love with and I wish I would have sh shared this with you before. I just really didn't think about it. I just haven't really done uh, makeup tutorials before, but now the secret's out. So I want to share this with all my girlfriends and let them know how easy, streamlined, and how amazing this makeup is. Again, there's so many different colors that you can choose from for um, shadows. I mean, I've been using these for over a year and you can see they just last forever. They're super pigmented. So I'm gonna just show you, um, and I'll show you this really quick. This is the bigger palette that you can get. Um, and I do color matches for gals, so you can see all the different colors of um, these cream foundations that are just incredible on all different kinds of skin, all different kinds of contours. Um, just, it's, it's awesome. So, um, so this is what I do to get ready in about 10 minutes, especially during the pandemic. I gotta get ready for a Zoom call or I just wanna look normal around the house without looking like I just, you know, rolled out of bed at two o'clock in the afternoon. So what I do for this cream foundation, I put um, moisturizer and sunscreen on in the morning, but um, I really wanna let that sit in because cream foundation tends to um, just kind of slide if you are too oily and have too much um, moisture in your skin. So they have this amazing setting spray. Um, I really love this. And so what I do with this is I just spray my little perfector sponge give it a couple sprays and then I just sort of like rub it all over my face in places that um, you know I just really want the makeup to stick I'm um, this kind of just gives it like a good um, kind of primer to have everything kind of stay in place so kind of let that dry a little bit this is also good by the way to put at the very end it just kind of like seals it in another one that I used to use is this one by Urban Decay, Urban Decay, it's called D Slick. This is a really good one. If you have this, I actually have a girlfriend who's like, oh my gosh, I've had this forever. It's been in my makeup drawer and I've been saving it for special occasions like, you know, a, a party or a wedding. I'm like, girl, just use what you got, you know? If you're like me, you probably have a million different products in the drawer and you like save them for the perfect occasion when the reality is, let's just use them. Use them up and um, start clearing your stuff out because I'm telling you this is the makeup you're gonna love. Okay, so the very first thing that I do is I go in with this darker color which is um, kind of what I consider like a camouflage color and that color is basically for anything on your face that has a little bit of redness. So um, let's see, why don't I use, I use this little brush here love this buff this is the buff brush so i'll just kind of go in with this color okay so i'm just going in and dabbing it on the places of my face that i want to camouflage that are a little bit red Last time I showed you just with my finger, but I'm gonna show you with the brush. I love this brush. Um, this kind of flat side is perfect for contouring. This is kind of the smaller side to kind of get in um, under your eyes. So my color that I use is indigo. So I'm just going to get a little bit on the brush and then right underneath, right underneath, I know that seems like a lot, it's right under the cheekbone right under the cheekbone and then all I'm going to do with that is just kind of push it into the skin and blend it out it's that easy see and it just gives you that dimension rather than that flat look 
Same thing on this side. I'm gonna just brush it up, not really go below that line. And I don't wanna go in really past this uh, line for my eye. And this just makes your cheeks look a little more chiseled, okay? And then I'll take a little bit more, go right along my hairline. lighter color so that's this color here and all I'm doing there is I'm going in to anywhere that I just really want to um, kind of get the light shined on so obviously this would be like your uh, concealer but look how amazing that is it just looks it just it, the light reflects off of it and it's so pretty I mean look at that already just from the side how much more awake this side looks I love it Okay, so throw a little bit more. And again, I'm just tapping. I'm not using very much at all. This stuff lasts forever. And then I'm just tapping into places that I really need, um, you know, just to brighten. Under the eyes, sometimes I bring it over on top. And I'm just kind of tapping it in. Tapping it in there. Down in here. I do a little bit on the chin. Do a little bit on forehead and then I take my finger and I do a little bit right down the center of my nose and we'll blend that in just a sec might need a little more than that okay and then anywhere else that you just want to kind of brighten up a little bit but it's literally, it's just tap, tap. It's barely anything. So I'm literally just tapping it in and you can see how amazing it just starts to really blend in. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to um, just, I'm gonna blend this in so you can see. This is again, just like my everyday jump on a call. See how nice that is, it just blends in. All blended in and then I want to um, look like I have a little bit of a tan so I take the big end of this brush real fluffy brush and I dip it in my Bella bronzer and I just kind of start up here and just work my way down easy peasy I mean look at that it's so easy I love it again all of these are creams and so the nice thing about creams is see like even though you feel like you get a lot it just blends out so easy. Um, this is really good makeup for mature skin because liquid foundation can tend to um, soak right into your fine lines. And so that's another reason that I love, love, love this makeup. Okay, so now I'm going to do a little bit of the blush color. And I'm going to use um, this color sandstone. I think this is a really pretty color for fall. Again, teeny, teeny bit, place on the cheeks, and it just kind of gives you that little bit more awake look. So the other thing I like to do is take the end of this. So this is a perfecter sponge. You probably have one of these. You put water in it, you squeeze every last drop out, until it comes um, out just super squishy. And then you can just kind of like go over your makeup and it just kind of pulls anything, um, places that you might've gotten a little heavy handed. I also like it like right in there because as you know, makeup can set right in that area right there in those fine lines. So again, I use a setting powder. My favorite is Laura Mercier. And then same thing, I use the same perfecter sponge. I just kind of dab it in there a little bit like this, and then I just place it in kind of that T-zone area that you want to kind of keep the oil out for the day and kind of mattify. I don't, I used to for TV mattify my whole face because the light can really um, 
you know, catch every single aspect and make you look like you're super greasy. But I think, you know, just for every day, it's kind of nice to have a little bit of, a little bit of shine. It makes you look younger. And so then I just kind of go back in again and I'll just throw on a little bit more blush just to look a little more alive. And that's it. Isn't that pretty? So that's literally all I do. Um, this makeup lasts so long. It's so good for your skin because it just sits on top. It doesn't soak in. Um, I'll do just a little bit of shadow today. Um, I'll do some fall colors. Let's see. Why don't I do... Um, the? I'll try... I'm going to start with this kind of lighter color and kind of sweep this all over. This is called On Wednesdays. So again, I'm just getting this in there. But I'm just going to... Pop a little bit of this on. This pink color is really nice. It just sort of like warms up your skin. So I put that everywhere on both eyes. And again, when I do um, shadow, I just roll it around in there and just kind of shake off the excess and then just do this kind of like windshield wiper action here above the crease, okay? Um, and then I'm going to do this color here. This is Lullaby. This is kind of like a little bit of a, it's kind of like a tannish purple. And then I'm just going to pop that in the corner for a little bit of definition. All of this makeup is called 3D. And the whole point of that is so that you have dimension to your face. Um, sometimes, you know, when you put on just a typical foundation, everything just looks flat. See how that just kind of brought my eyes out a little bit? Um, and so the whole point of just adding these little touches is just to give your face a little bit of dimension. Put a little bit more in here. Flip the brush around. And then I might just take a little bit, just because it's like a fun fall look. Just kind of sweep that under there. Okay. Um, let's see. And then I sometimes do a little bit of liner. I just sometimes like a typical liner, but then I'll go back over it with the shadow. So I just make sure this is super sharpened. Obviously I use a slot. This is a, a brown, like this is literally a cover girl, kind of a cocoa brown color. And I just kind of get in, in the very top corner, if you can see that. And then just kind of go right along the lash line. As I pull my eye open a little bit and then get in that corner. I used to use so much more liner, but I found out that, you know, it starts to age you a little bit. The more liner I think you use, it just kind of like dated that way. So I just try to stay in the lash line. Go in the center. Okay. Starting to look more awake. My absolute favorite. I've heard from some of you, you're like, I've been using this for years too. It's the only one I use. If there is one that you like better, please tell me because I love trying new stuff, but I also like to just stick to what I know. So L'Oreal Voluminous Mascara. Just makes your eyes pop and it makes your eyelashes look like they're fake. Okay, pop a little bit of that on. Put a little bit on the bottom, just a tad. And then, really quick, I'll do eyebrows just because, why not? So again, I'm gonna spray this. I can use the same spreading, set, setting spray. Just get a little bit in the bottom. And then um, this one is, I gotta be careful because I've used so much of it that um, it's like super fragile. So again, I just go right along the bottom, make that nice and even. You see that? Sorry. And then pull from that. That's all I use. And that's again, that's a nice thing about this makeup is that it lasts forever and there's a lot of it in each little tin um 
the tins are nice because you can, like I use this for dark brows, but like this color, um, basic, uh, yeah, this one is really good for um, like blonde brows. And I could use that too. I don't even know what color my hair is anymore, but kind of like in the dark brow. So again, I'll just go right along the bottom, even that out, go up in the arch, right here, pull it up. Brush, other side, and that's pretty much it. Perfect. Um, and then another quick trick. So I could pretty much be done. Lips, we got to do, of course. So this is a great trick. So this was that same brush that I used for my eyeliner. But I'm going to use the end of this. And so I'm going to take my um, contour color, because it's a little bit stickier, and I'm just going to go right under my lip. So I used to use, uh, and I still do, I like uh, different lip liners, but um, the nice thing again is that everything is like in your one single palette. So you can use, you can use um, all the blushes are for lip and cheek. You can use it for eyeliner. You can buy the dark color for like a gel. So I just put that on. And then um, I told you, I'm just like, I love all these different colors. And this, again, I'm showing you some really affordable options. This is Maybelline and this is called um, Super Stay Matte Ink. I'm telling you this lasts all day long and doesn't give you that ring around the lips later. This is number 65 Seductress. So it's one of those that just kind of stays on all day. I literally just a little bit on here. Rub it in. And that's it. That's all I do. A little bit more here. You can kind of touch up as you go. But that's pretty much it. Um, that's just my easy makeup routine. I mean, I can do it. You know what I should do is do a video where I'm not talking and you'll see honestly how quick it is. But again, you have everything in one little palette. Um, the brushes are amazing. I've had MAC brushes and Sephora brushes. I've had high-end brushes, uh, Chanel stuff. I, I love these Saint brushes because again, you've got both sides. They wash well, they clean well. Um, and I just love them. These are specifically made for cream foundation, so you can't really use stuff that you have at home or it just doesn't kind of go on right. So again, stipple, stipple, um, pick your colors. And if you need help being color matched, I can totally help you. A lot of you have reached out and are just loving this so far. So um, leave me a message below if you want me to color match you. I'm happy to do that. Or you can private message me, give me your email address, and I'll send you the link. So hope you like this look. I hope that um, you do your makeup, even though we're in a pandemic. It makes me feel better. And the fact I can get ready in less than 10 minutes is just a game changer. So have a great day. We'll talk to you later.